uh, to deal with and therefore I feel like the crush could be a way to counter that if they want to go, go full on aggression or if they're in the lead with a crash that means you could tower dive you get the tower aggro you pop the metamorphosis you get the get the shields in for extra tankiness and we'll have to see because that really depends on which team is in the lead uh, during the early to mid game Exactly. Finally, the drafts have been sorted out for both teams. We're going to go into the match in a few short moments' time. And I really like the pick so far from Xbox Gaming, though. XD Gaming, yet again, still a big question for me. I'm not really sure how they're going to perform in this first match of their first international tournament. They must be pretty nervous, but you know what? Some teams work really good under pressure. Yes, and... We'll have to see how that pans out as the game has started, Afiz. So it's a matter of how they're going to play out their level ones. Unless, you know, Maxbox and XD Gaming, maybe Mina has that full-on uh, aggression. But looks like they are going to just probably settle in by going to their lanes. Yeah, and right now on XD Gaming... Oh no, it's an invade. Yeah, they're going to invade the Mike Golem and uh, Shana is going to take that. I feel like they can utilize this uh, slip to just maybe just land that javelin and then Mina just comes in and cleans up, adds that additional CC as well. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> How do you dive on towards uh, uh, a team like that? It's not gonna yeah, be it's kind of hard, yeah, but no. I mean, pre level 4 on Rubik's. The interesting is that. Rubix is a really good Alice player, and so far we've got four games and still no Alice, so <laughs> I guess it, it, my bias is showing that I really love Alice, Alice especially on Rubix. Rubix has been phenomenal on that pick, but I guess it's the Teamy for now, because Teamy is really good at... He practically does everything. He has good engage, has good CC, can repair mistakes with being a bro, can turn around fights using that, and as well as a lot of other things can boost up your growth with a golden experience boost and therefore that's probably the reason why they took it it is open but we'll have to see because mina probably trying to find a pick here and there but so far so good for both of these teams but again the poke coming from gambit could hurt a little bit um especially in the mid lane now top lane, Anarchy taking some damage as well. 1717 doing a lot of harassment there. Rubik's taking quite a beating here, tries to contest this Abyssal Dragon. I do think Zeta will pay the price for that. First blood, First blood goes to Maxbox Game. Wow, look at that. And there's the Abyssal Dragon again. There's the Slims. They enter. They enter it, they do the damage, but look at the damage. There's just way too much damage from Raz as well. And <laughs> it's just going under the tier 1 turret, jumping oh. onto his Dexter. And they will get another kill as well. Double kills here for Raz. Gambit, what are you going to hit here? Still staying. And uh, I think they retreated and respected um, the potential turnaround. Uh, but at this point, great rotation from Abyssal Dragon and probably another kill. Anarchy decides to back away, respect the damage coming from Maxbox, but great rotation again. They are a siege comp with this with this tell on us. If they manage to get picks here and there and probably scare them away and force them to go back to base, they can just practically bully them out of the lane and just get some turrets down. They also stole the uh, might goal on the top there as well. They get a kill, dive. On top lane here, Zeta might pay the price yet again as well. He oh. tried to provide reinforcements, but unfortunately, he got taken down and I think it's going to be a tier 1 turret in the top lane or they will push their wave as well. Maybe because another kill here on top lane, Blink goes in but he might get taken down here and there you go. If we're talking about 1717 playing that I Irie and he is definitely showcasing his skills around that hero. Oh man, I can tell 1717 is having fun yeah. on this Irie and it's so confident. Actually, all of them are just so confident. Uh, Gambit on this Raz as well, making the plays and just trying to knock up and shove a lot of mem uh, one member from XD Gaming to the rest of Maxbox. And the thing is, against a Siege Comp, what you want to do is have as much wave clear as you can, but there. But knowing that you only have a crash for that, 
tell Alenskin and Emilia to take advantage of that. And right now, with top lane open, that puts so much room for Irie to make plays around the map. And they're just going to be like, okay, top's down. Let's go with bot. Yeah. Oh, Abyssal Dragon has spawned. That's perfect. If we get bot, then probably we'll get AD. But we'll have to see what the, uh, what actually gaming replies or responds to this one. Because it's going to be tough. Are they going to try to at least contest this dragon here? I don't think they even can do so. They might get a pick off here, they might steal it. No, 1717 will say no to that. Go in on towards Dexter, but it's pretty much all she wrote here. Only less than five minutes into the game. Six kills already here for Maxwell's game. And also, let me count here, I'm really bad at math, but six <laughs> kills only already. That makes the two of us, man. But, you know, Peace Boy just having the time of his life, having uh, being on that Tell Honest, they're just practically... What do you call this? Yeah, the siege cop, the rotating siege cop will just try to probably potentially yeah. take a pick. If not, then just try to scare them away back to base. And they are doing, are playing this comp so well and so effectively that the gold lead has swung into such a yeah. huge lead. I mean, when you have, you know, you have Timmy as well, and I think they're going to get a pick up onto Zayda as well. When you have Timmy, Zeno, you have Raz, you have Ivy as well, the initiation is already there, so they're going to keep the pressure on and on and on, rotating to team, uh, lanes after lanes after lanes, and that's exactly what they're doing here. They're not even scared because they have Timmy. Exactly, and the, the point where you have the Senyal having to split push, that means your crashed is always on lane duty. Ultimate. You need... <laughs> okay, there's the ultimate from Gambit. He's having the time of his life as well. Um, going back to what I just said, they definitely need the crush to turn things around. The Metamorphosis is a playmaker. And if he's on lane duty, that means you only have the rest of the members. And Seder will be that one guy that will try to initiate for sure. Yeah, and they're pushing both lanes, in bot top and bottom lane as well. The only tier out to turret left is that middle lane as well. Only six minutes into the game, they've already taken almost every single out to turret. And taken every single camp in their jungle so they're just starving XD gaming at this point just eliminating the possibilities more and more of how they can get back into this game nicely done uh, stun shiny X yeah Mali is coming in from the Xenia as well Alpha Cat just trying to finish this up and you know what I'm there your team is here and oh my stole that kill away I feel <laughs> wow so Rubix is having fun on this team. Everybody uh, from Maxbox Gaming is just playing very well, very calculated. And with a comp that XD Gaming has, um, it's pretty tough yeah. because, again, the the comeback potential in terms of how they can probably win in a 5v5. The thing is, Maxbox keeps separating them. They're pressuring all lanes. So XD Gaming has to run around. Oh no, our top is dying. Yep. Oh no, our mid. Oh no, bot. So they have to think about a lot of things. And they have to take into account how behind they are. So they're on guarding duty, but they have to farm as and well. And also, you have to take a, uh, into consideration that you have a teamy on mm. the side of Maxbox Gaming. So you take one more down, so you're going to have to take a man down again. Exactly. So And also, on the side of... Uh, XZ Gaming, they have Anarchy, pretty much the only one they can uh, try to counter an initiation. I mean, they do have Mina, but Mina seems to be pretty weak so far. Yes, wasn't able to get that advantage. Nice for you there from 1717. Like I mentioned earlier, Mina is taking a beating and Zeta's going to get taken down. Oh, Raz just goes in. What? Takes him down. Oh and my. And right now, they even popped the Metamorphosis as well. But that's pretty much all she wrote here from XD Gaming. That was pretty swag of Gambit there. Just diving in and flickering out once he got the kill, but Dexter's so low. I mean, they are so in need in terms of gold, in terms of items, in terms of level as well. So they can definitely take a kill or two even under their tier 3 turrets. Yeah, this is so tough for XD Gaming. I mean, I mean, you see a Raz diving into yeah. 5, killing someone, and then flickering out. You know you have a problem. Yeah, you know that your enemy team is really confident in uh, every single play that they make, and they will take the day, dark slate down as well. And mind you, there's only 8 minutes and 30 seconds into the game, and they're already far ahead with 12k gold lead here for Maxbox Gaming. And if you look at the composition here for Max D Gaming, they don't really have anyone that can have that sort of late game potential. Yes. I mean, they do have the Liliana at some point, but 
I feel like it's a little bit too late now yeah. um, to actually try and scale. But then again, at least they do have that wave clear, and maybe they can try to take advantage of aggressive dives like what Gambit did. Like, for example, Gambit dives in, then perhaps the taunt from the Mina could work so that he won't be able to come back. But that's, uh, I feel like maybe that's one of those things. But you still have 1717 to prove one of the. <laughs> A really huge problems on the side of Maxbox. Look at the damage coming on Tilana, just sieging their tower down, and they will take one tier 3 turret down in the middle lane. They can focus, they do get the Sun Minions as well. What can they do here? I, I, I don't... I, they just have to force a mistake here. If they want to win a team fight, they have to force a mistake from Maxbox Gaming, and then win a team fight, and then turn things around. Things are looking really bleak here for XG Gaming and Maxbox Gaming. What a first game performance here so far. Yeah, they're just surgically removing units from the side of XD Gaming. There's a dive! There's a dive, they go for maybe a kill on to us. 1717 is really low on HP. No one's dead so far. There you go, the first victim. Second victim, third victim. I think someone already oh. died earlier on. And look at just this flow chart plays here coming from Maximus Gaming, focusing the core as well. And there you have it. Pretty convincing first game here for Maxbox Gaming against XD. I love your term. Flow chart. What was the other word? Flowchart gaming. Flowchart gaming. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I love the term, but you're right. Flowchart gaming is what Maxbox did. They just practically, even though it was like a humongous lead, they decided to just try to take top, um, mid, and as well as bot high ground towers, and then just finish off the game. You saw during the last phases of the team fight, the Slims, Shiny X, was busy destroying the Drake because he was already hitting the core. So in terms of damage, the only one that was there was Blink on the Liliana yeah. and perhaps Dexter on the Marja. But I feel like it's not going to be enough if you're that behind. But look at that. No deaths. No Perfect deaths. game from Maxbox Gaming. And I actually feel pretty good about that. Yeah, I, they must feel really good for themselves, whereas for XD Gaming, it's, there you go, that's the rotations, the ganks coming in from Maxbox Gaming. Whereas on the side of the XD Gaming, they do still have the flash, so that's going to be really easy for him to just back out when he's uh, ganked. And also, Teamy. So, team fights, it's, gonna, it's not going to be easy for Maxwell's Gaming like earlier on. Yeah, I feel like as long as um, the early phase, for sure, I feel like XD Gaming might have a tough time. But, I, but because of their really good side laners um, on the Malak and the Arduin, I feel like they will do better in comparison yeah. to game number one. Uh, nice sustained good shields on their side as well but on the other side of the spectrum we've got maxbox gaming who has a very confident draft even though we've got really good mage tanks uh in the front line it's still more like their tankiness their source of tankiness is more of the sustain and heal and it's going to heavily rely on how they're going to play around the team fights or in the skirmishes so i'm really excited if this yeah let's find out who will win the second game of the day we're about to start game two Question is whether or not XD Gaming can make it or bring it to game number three. And for Maxbox, can they finish and end on a good note or in a dominating note at that? But meanwhile, there might just be a trade of might golems here. They might be able to do it because right now, Maxbox Gaming definitely have to think twice if they want to dive those uh, uh, different lanes, actually, because there is the teamy in their pool, the XD Gaming. So they have to be cautious here. Cautious indeed. You see that the RM in as well as so I'm looking at the two roams here for for both Maxbox and XD. So you got a Slims and an RM, and for Fennec and Teamy. So again, Teamy can be both. It could be both defensive. Uh, I feel like inoffensive as well. And RM and Slims quite painful. They can they are like the yeah, tag combo, team of yeah. picks. Like get the stun or the snare, whichever. But it's still a complete lockdown for you. Fennec, though, has a huge amount of shred, but we'll have to see Anarchy, the pooty poots. I love how confident he is. It's just <laughs> pretty much okay for him as well. Just providing as much assistance as he can, giving them their teammates space, but they are going to be the ones initiating first. Actually, Rubik's taking quite oh. a beating here. Falls back. Reinforcements coming in from his teammates, keeping him alive. He's going to fall back here. XD Gaming. Like, whenever I hear the farts, it's just so... <laughs> It's pretty amusing. I thought I was the one for it. <laughs> <laughs> my, oh my. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I didn't eat anything at all. So I was like, oh my, you didn't eat breakfast? Uh, 
she didn't even mention it. I totally forgot about oh, that. Oh, you're too, yeah. too excited about yeah, the Majesty really Day update. I was really excited about the day. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Understandable. But going back, it uh, looks like that's the two-minute mark, which would <laughs> mean... Said the Spirit Sentinel, unfortunately, but I think they're going to finish up. Yep. Okay, it looks like that's going to be a trade. Uh, Spirit Sentinel versus Abyssal Dragon here by the side of Max Fox Gaming, 1717. Might get ganked, but he's going to be A-OK -okay at the moment. Just going to get that mic on him out of the way here but it's a slow laning phase in yeah. comparison to earlier where the tell honest is just roaming around finding towers to kill yeah mix balls gaming definitely respects the pigs here uh, that expert gaming but as i say that zeta yet again as well he didn't have a good time at all in the first game and he's not gonna have a good time yet again as well but the beautiful look at the damage is coming up from random flash and they're gonna get a triple kill here blink what that was wow. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know what to say. That was an amazing placement of the cyclone from Blink. And the thing is, I was actually pretty worried because Seder wasn't able to get the shield in from the charge of his blade. And therefore, I thought that was a loss. But holy balls of fire. They clumped up in a single area, and that was just Blink's time to shine. Yeah. And if this goes to a game number three, I'm not really surprised if Flash is the next one to be banned. I mean, he got three, three kills already and lower level five as well, so definitely has the ability to just proceed through and try to get as strong as possible because he... They, I, I don't know what to say about that. I felt like... I felt like maybe... Uh, uh, was it Dexter? I mean, Zader. Yeah, with the Zader. ultimate definitely gave him enough time to come in with the ultimate as well on the cyclone. Huge amount of trust in their yeah. teammates being displayed there. Blink. I feel like all eyes on Blink right now. He is a huge threat um, on XD Gaming side, and therefore Maxbox could just step back a little bit and probably tone down the aggression, or else. Uh, that just leaves a lot of openings for XD, XD Gaming to outplay them. And right now, 1717 instead is going to be the one <laughs> being harassed here on top. Lane. Earlier on, he had a really good time on Ivy. And right now, 1717 going to play a bit safe here because their team is going to be a nuisance. Nuisance indeed. 1717 just going to scout out the lane and spot out that... Oh, wow. We did. I just realized that we did a switch on camera midway. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, because the Abyssal Dragon was up top earlier. No, that was interesting. So, anyway, going back to the game. <laughs> I like how you notice this. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but that was that's what I noticed earlier. But, um, anywho, for Maxbox, they're playing this safe for now in comparison yeah. to the first early minutes but look at that 1717 taking a lot of damage and but Anarchy Timmy got picked out first this is going to be green light here for Maxwell's game to just do more damage try to take down Flash pop the flicker will be able to finish him up and there you have it, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Maxbox Gaming. Shall we finally have some throws here? Yeah, that's two Abyssal Dragons in their pocket at the moment. Peace Boy super duper confident of getting that steal in because there's no punish to deny any sort of uh, takeaway on that might golem. But so far, so good for Maxbox. And we have seen one highlight from XD Gaming. I kind of wonder if they can, you know, continue that trend. And 1717, I think with Maxbox, what they want to do is they want to try and get Omen involved as much as possible. But I guess right now, they're in a comfortable spot. Comfortable indeed. Zeta yet again as well. Whoa. He has not have gone in any space at all. Even the first game, he was pretty much the one that always gotten taken down at first. And bottom lane is pretty much free for Maxwell's gaming to gank. And they get the tier 1 turret as well. They're just pulling ahead here so far, but it's a minor, minor lead here for Maxwell's gaming. Yeah, the gold lead is still not as significant as game number one, but fight doesn't stop. There you go, Blink is going to get taken down. Flash pops the ulti, but not going to be able to survive just yet. But Timmy is dead to bring him back alive yet again as well. But there, the Timmy ultimate is down. Wow, at topside though, while mid was happening, there was a fight at topside where Fennec eliminated 1717. So this may prove to be a huge problem because if yep. top opens up, this means less impact 1717 could make in the game because he's going to be busy um, shoving the waves at topside. So you can see Raz will rotate at top temporarily just to try and stop the ship damage from the waves there. 
and Gambit has not been as aggressive as how he was earlier on as well. Even though he has the slims in the composition, and they do have the slims in the composition as well, and do have the RM, like I mentioned earlier on, the ganking capabilities is definitely there, but yeah, yet to do anything. As earlier on as well, they haven't ganked anyone yet at all, I think. They've what? just been under their turrets. And right now, Anarchy! What are you doing? He was definitely not supposed to be there. Okay, that was definitely XD Gaming's call to engage. <laughs> yes. So... And he even got a T1 turret in top lane as well. But it's not going to be a 1v1, 1v2 situation here, Fizz. I don't think... Once it, I don't think they can actually take a killing on once unless they slow him down. They do just... Get a little minor. Uh, Raz doing Raz things. Coming from behind. Gets a kill. I think Dexter might be the next target as well. And there you go. Gambit gets a double kill for Maxbox Gaming. 8 to 4 kills here in favor of Maxbox Gaming. Wow. Oh, wow. There you have it, folks. Um, looks like they've seen the rotation and then they've made the certain adjustments. Maxbox Gaming to the rescue. Raz to the rescue, rather. And they got a kill, a tower at top, and as well as mid second tower, second tier turret. And we'll have to see. Maybe that's going to be the third in a row. And it will be, Fizz. Yep, there you have it here. I mean. The, the rotations coming from Gambit has always been pretty much spectacular throughout. I mean, even before this tournament, so we've seen how what Gambit can do with the Raz. So he is doing an exceptional job on that Raz right now. Already look at the levels. Each piece boy level 12. If all his teams on the side of XD Gaming, Anarchy is only level 8. Anarchy level 8. You're right. Uh, going to. The Rome Rubik's is level 10, so man oh man, uh, Max off standing with the aggressive rotations, but Peace Boy is going to be farming for now as he has to wait for the waves and find the right opportunity, but maybe the next fight could be the AD, or unless they jump onto Dexter. They try to go on to Dexter yet again as well, a little bit too tanky there, stopping them just for a second, but Peace Boy is there to just help them out, and they will be able to get another kill. So right now, it's either the Dragon or the Dark Slayer, and I, I don't think XD Gaming has any choice at all. He, they definitely have to just go for the Dragon. They can't, they can't, they can't contest this Dark Slayer as well. Yeah, Dark Slayer versus not yet enraged, so I yeah. think that's the reason why Maxbox isn't very keen on getting that. So they saw a lot of value on the Drake at the moment. Yeah. Plus the mere fact that they killed someone near the Dark Slayer lane. But there's yeah. a snare onto Blink. Oh, there you go. They do get the Tri-Pop Cyclone. Just try to survive as long as possible. We'll get taken down as well. 1717 tries to connect with his teammates and will be able to do so. So pretty much slow and steady right now here for Maxwell's Gaming. They're not playing as aggressive as earlier on. Yeah, so much respect. They don't want to, they don't want Blink to make the plays again for yeah. sure. As that potential outplay could happen again. But it's a it's defense mode for XD gaming and Maxbox will destroy that bottom side tower and now they're at the high ground tower for oh, get a stun onto Azeda as well. They might just they pop the ultimate initiations as well. Goes in blink, goes back into it's based and Zayda will pay the price for that as well. Oh my, that second uh, second seal from Alpha Cat definitely finished off that uh, Malak, but right now I, I thought that was the moment of yeah, Blink. I thought, yeah, I thought Blink was supposed to pop the Cyclone maybe or just even do some damage. He went back into base and right now Blink tries to do something in the lane and Peace Boy just being a nuisance then. <laughs> You're only level, I think he's still level 9 right now. It's gonna get taken down really easily, even after being a bro. Has been popped, still gonna get taken down. And right now, Maxbox Gaming is in a comfortable spot in yep. terms of how they've been playing this out. Again, this could be like game number one, but there's a shock from Seder just to try and scare them away and maybe force them to retreat for now. But uh, they're doing a 3-2 yeah. rotation what at the do? moment. What can you do? All the lanes have been pushed right now. Yes. Uh, in terms of wave clear, their options are probably uh, maybe using their ults because at the moment, uh, yeah, that's like this. Oh my gosh! 
That was, I, I, I couldn't even see oh, what happened. It just happened so fast. When the camera panned towards yeah. the Fennec, he was already dead. And the tier 3 is going to get taken down, I do believe so. Just a couple of more hits. We'll see what the deal, and that's about it. Tier 3 is down for that middle lane, and it is exposed here. Do have the super minions for themselves in the middle lane as well. Man, oh man, this is a tough one for XD Gaming. Uh, I did mention one of your forms of wave players, probably the, the Cyclone, the Hammer Cyclone from the... Uh, the Fennec, the Fennec, but I mean, what just happened there? He still died under turret, so Max Fox really, really taking advantage of any opening that they could take. Yes, yeah, seven towers down, one dock there, two abyssal dragons, four inside of Max Fox. 13 to four kills in favor. 12 and a half minutes into the game, they're gonna get the enraged and do believe so. Abyssal Dragon, you're gonna get the wrong. That's more buffs for this team. How much stronger do you want to be? <laughs> they really wanna, they've learned, they probably learned from the previous matches yeah. where, okay, we have a huge amount of gap, probably is still not enough. Yeah. Let's make sure that we get everything so there's no room for comeback. So at this point, let's see if. How Max Fox is gonna? No, it's it's a it's a thinking process for XD Gaming as well. What can they take uh, from this game if they do? If it's really a two and zero. What can they do indeed? Indeed, uh, right now they're just taking a lot of damage. But Blink, their flash is down. There's no damage on the side of XD Gaming to even think about. In fact, they get a stun on towards Dexter with a javelin as well, but no follow up unfortunately. But it's okay, they want to see. They will take it down. Oh, look at the damage yet again as well from Raz and switches up to the middle side here. You know what? Let's take down the call, and there you go. In a, in a blink of an eye. 13 minute game. Yeah, 13 minute game. In a blink of an eye. I mean, the time is pretty much decent, I would say. Yes. But the pressure that they had throughout the whole second half of the, the game itself definitely. An eye-opening experience here for yeah. XD Gaming. Yeah, it's 2-0 and for Maxbox. I mean, you saw how aggressive Maxbox is from game number one in the early phases of game number two, and then suddenly the blink play happened, yeah. and then they toned it down a little bit, but look at that. We see Gambit with a 3 11 No deaths, and just pure MVP goodness. Hey, look at Peace Point there, 8 as well. He gold in his hands here. Yeah. So, this Peace Boy definitely had a really good time as well, landing those javelins, and then Gambit just comes in. We were talking about it in the other one as well. Arun, 15 assists here for Arun. <laughs> so, this composition that you were talking about earlier, Arun together with Slips, and then Vasis comes in to change things up. That's pretty much what Max Box Gaming did. But it's on the side of